I'm Mary from the New Hanover County Public Library and welcome to part two of Juvenile Science Fiction. I'm going to start with the oldest of the books that I'm going to talk about and that is Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne. Nowadays if you talk about how I went all the way around the world in 80 days you're like well yeah sure of course but back before planes and many other things this was amazing. When some friends at a club read about this Phineas Fogg and his friends thought this is a little crazy but Phineas Fogg bet he could do it so he took his trusty French manservant to try and go around the world in 80 days and you will have to read the book to find out if he did it but there will be bandits on the railroad they will have to save a damsel in distress by elephant and many more adventures then we have the true meaning of smack day by Adam Rex now in this case aliens have conquered the earth and they forced all humans to relocate by space shuttle to Florida. But this is many years later, and 12-year-old Tip has to write an essay for a contest about what is the true meaning of Smack Day, the day that the booth came and conquered Earth. Well, this ends up involving a road trip. She goes with an alien. She reflects upon um, her mom, who actually communicated early with the boo via a mole that was on the back of her neck, long before any of this happened. And there will be adventures and interest and excitement, but you must read it to find out the true meaning of sight. My next two are actually by the same author. It's Robert O'Brien two very different books. I'm actually going to start with Z for Zachariah. In this particular one, Anna is 16, and as far as she knows of, she is the last person on Earth. There has been a nuclear war, and her family left to investigate and never came back. So she's alone in her little secluded farming valley, and then one night, she notices a campfire. And it gets a little closer the next night, and a little closer, and a little closer and what's going to happen but i will warn you that sometimes things aren't always as wonderful as they might seem uh, this other book by robert o'brien um, is an award winner um, it uh, is about mrs frisbee and the rats of nim um, for those of you who haven't read it uh, mrs frisbee is a widowed mouse with more four small children, sorry, one of whom is very sick, so she can't really move. And Farmer Fitzgibbon is planning to do the spring plowing, which means he's going to plow up their winter home, but she can't move Timothy or he'll die. But the owl suggests that because of who her husband is, the rats who live under the rose bush might help her. And trust me, this is science fiction. Uh, then we have as our next to last, our penultimate book, Mars Evacuees by Sophia McDougall. Now, you know the war is going badly when your mom, who's an amazing fighter pilot, um, says you have to evacuate to Mars. But we're going to go anyway, and that's okay. But then things start to get really dangerous for you. You're going to get shot at. You're going to be pursued by aliens. Don't forget your teacher who teaches you math, who's actually a robot goldfish with laser beam eyes, who's also really kind of annoying. But whatever you do, do not forget the duct tape. You have to have duct tape. And this last one, Anne McCaffrey, Dragon Song. Now, this is kind of an interesting book in that it's on the cusp. Trust me, the series is science fiction. However, when you read the first few books, you might think it's actually fantasy. Um, this one, we have dragons, and we have, especially in this first book, we have miniature small dragons, or fire lizards. And Mentally is the youngest child in a um, sea hold, and Thread has started to fall. Now, when Thread falls, it falls from the sky from the red star, and it eats through everything, so it's extremely dangerous, so everyone has to hide. But things have been going very badly for Mentally. Um, the Harper, who she really loved, who let her play music, has died. And not only is she eventually not allowed to sing anymore, she's not allowed to sing, she's not allowed to play, nothing. And then a terrible accident happens, and things change quite a bit for her. So Dragon Song is the first in the series. Thank you for joining me for part two of Juvenile Science Fiction. Have a great day.